Yo, what's up? It's Terry Hunter, and you about to get some of this self-love. Uh, we got a Grammy nod. The 70s, everybody was doing having in the clubs. That was accepted there. Sleeping. So Track Source, you about to get this flow. The inspiration behind self-love, one day me and Shantae Savage was watching this series that came on in uh, America called Scandal. And right at the very end uh, of the show, Kerry Washington says something like, I choose me. And um, we ran with it. Shantae called me back like 20 minutes later and was like, I got it, I got it. I choose me. And then later on working on the song, it flipped into self-love. Estelle, we had been working before I did a remix for and actually uh, produced a song for her album. And once I got the meat of the song cut with Shantae, I was like, yo, we got to get Estelle on this. So of course I called Estelle up. She heard the song, she loved it. And then later I hit my brother Jay Ivy. He loved the song and got on it. And that's how you got self-love. Wow, how did I get started in the house of music? It had to be around 82. Um, I've told this story a lot of times, but my cousin, who I was named after, um, he had to go to this event in Chicago, on the north side of Chicago, uh, right on Lakeshore Drive, and Frankie Knuckles was spinning. And um, he had to babysit me. And he was like, yo, this joint is outside. You coming with me, and we gonna make this happen. So he took me up there, and uh, it changed my life. My my grandfather owned a tavern and he used to play all these records that I heard Frankie Knuckles uh, playing from my cousin's tape. But the difference with Frankie, he was mixing in and out of these records like seamlessly. And that completely blew my mind to hear people yelling and screaming this man's name and how much power Frankie had over that, that crowd. And I just remember leaving there like, yo, that's it. I want to be a DJ. Man, one of the biggest risks I, I've taken is that people try to put you in the box, you know? And so for me, um, I'm known for doing good house music. I'm not finna box myself to say it's soulful, it's deep, but I'm also a hip hop head. I love rap music. And um, it was a point in time where I kind of stopped doing house and I was really focusing on producing uh, R&B and hip hop and mainly hip hop. I worked with the likes of uh, Ryan Fest, uh, my brother, uh, Twan Gabs, who I just lost. So I was really uh, involved with the hip hop culture and R&B culture for a while. Wow, if I wasn't doing music, what career path would I be on? I don't know, I'm on, some might laugh at this, but this is just the Chicago way of life. I would have been a pimp. I would have been pimping, I don't know what, who, where, but I would have been a player, right? Period, point blank. I'm a lovable guy, but in those times when I, you know, was doing what I was doing, I'm sorry. I'm just Terry Hunter is real pimping. I would have been a pimp. That's it. Man, the Beyonce uh, Break My Soul remix, uh, we got a Grammy nod. It was amazing because we had a time in house music where, you know, Drake was doing his thing and then obviously Beyonce came with that album and there was so much hype and controversy um, around if what she was doing was house or not. And I was just really happy that we got the phone call um, and, and it was brought right back here in Chicago. And big shout out to Honey Dijon because she all, uh, also did a remix on the package and produced some songs. But I felt that an artist like that coming back to the city that birthed that genre was amazing. And she could have went anywhere else to anybody else, but she came right back here to Chicago to home a house. And so it was amazing. The whole Grammy experience was amazing. And to see house music recognized on that level, we're not stopping. We, we going full steam ahead from now on. So it was really dope. Sleep. If I'm not working on music, I'm sleeping because we are consistently on the road and sleep is not our best friend. But no, besides that, honestly, man, if none of my brothers is DJing and I'm, I don't, I'm not supporting them, I'm a family dude, I'm in the house, I'm chilling. I don't get to go on vacations enough. That's a part of the 
movement going forward is to take two or three vacations a year and just really have some self time, self love, you know? I choose me. Wow, die empty, die empty. That was such a profound statement from my brother Jazzy Jeff. It's like, yo, you make some music, you give some away, you sell some. You know, a lot of us have so many songs and ideas and that's just sitting in our computer and it doesn't come out. And man, we just need to die empty, get all that music out, put it out there in the world. Track Source has been a big impact on, on my musical journey just because it's one of the top sites out here for DJs to go get groundbreaking house music. It's where I go every time I'm looking to hear what's new, what's fresh, what's popping. There's new artists and it's, it's fun digging to, to not find the obvious stuff that you hear all the time. And so Track Source has been a main staple uh, for me in getting things going on that site. It's the groundbreaking site. Um, I've done a lot of remixes for a lot of major artists and, and I definitely tell them that they need to release this on Track Source to kind of get the groundswell going on those records. If I can time travel to anywhere in musical hit, it would have to be the 70s. The 70s, everybody was doing They was doing they was high, they was having in the clubs they was doing everything so you know it, the 70s for me i would have loved to go to the warehouse in chicago i would have loved to went to the paradise garage in new york and just anywhere just you know the 70s for sure for me the best live performance wow jackson five i had to i was about 10 and i saw them at comiskey park which is where the chicago white sox play at in the 80s and i think that was my first matter of fact it was my first major concert and that if anybody has never seen footage or if you're not old enough to see michael live go look it up it was life-changing mind-blowing and the most probably incredible show that i've seen to this day know and learn who came before you a lot of people try to fast forward and skip and say, oh, no, I know everything. You don't know shit. Learn who came before you. And then that way, you'll know where you're going. You know, I say it all the time. Study your craft, man. Listen to other people's music. Listen to other genres of music. Just don't put yourself in a box. Don't let this industry put you in a box. Just learn and study your craft and, and go forward. So track source, you about to get this flow from the top of the dome. We ain't gonna edit this. This is what I'm talking about. This rap shit, how I flow. Track source, use these bloopers. Love yourself enough to know better.